Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PD and welcome to the Grumpy Turtle. Eh. So for today I'm going to start a new series, it is about Tomb Raider the Angel of Darkness, I'm going to, I intend to do uh, a playthrough. Okay, so if you are seeing this video, I have all the videos already done, so it means that I completed the game, which is something that I didn't made when I played this game for the first time in 2003. So Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, eh, I want to talk a little bit about the game before starting. Um, it was developed by the Core Design, it is the same developers as uh, Tomb Raider 1 until Tomb Raider 5, so it is the same developers of the, the other classic Tomb Raiders that I've been playing, like Tomb Raider 4, Tomb Raider 5. The difference is that all the first Tomb Raiders, I mean from Tomb Raider 1 to Tomb Raider 5, was developed to PS1, and uh, they wanted to make this game a big upgrade, okay, comparing to the others, and they kind of developed a new engine and wanted to make the game a little bit more different than the others, and wanted to make a little bit more emphasis in the, the personality of Lara Croft, make something a little bit more different, more towards the character, like a, a more actual story that is not about, like, uh, only raiding tombs, but more about some of the personal things of the life of Warcraft, which was very interesting, but many people didn't like this new path, so that is why I think this is also one of the worst Tomb Raiders available. So even if this game was decent in its gameplay, on its execution, uh, probably many people would still didn't like because this is very different comparing to the classic games, okay? So, what happened? It was only this, I mean, it is only this path that completely ruined the game. Well, yes and no. Well, many things gone wrong with the development of the game. So, to start on, uh, the core design team team adds really great problems developing to the PS2, as far as I know. Uh, it's written all over the place, you can google it, you will find a lot of things and declarations from the core design team, team that say that. They had a lot of technical problems trying to develop to the PS2, so they kind of couldn't make it. They were like a genius on the PS1 and Sega Saturn on the PC, but when it came to PS2 and the new engine, it kind of, probably it was a little bit overwhelming to them and they didn't add the time to implement all the things. So they kind of postponed the release date of the game, so the game was delayed. Eidos was the guys behind the, the core design team giving the money, so they are the publishers. And Eidos obviously was trying to push the, the core design team to release the game, to make it faster push them to release and to make it better, faster, and core design team wasn't able to do it. And so Eidos think about something that it is sometimes common on the video games world, which is, okay, so uh, a movie about Tomb Raider is coming out, so guys, you have to finish the game, and the game needs to be ready at the same day that the game, that the, vi that the movie is coming out. So, where this is where the problem started. So, they kind of had to release the game forcibly at that time. And the game was released, but the problem is, it was entirely broken. I mean, all the gameplay, uh, all the movements, it all feels so weird and so broken. There are so many bugs in this game that completely ruins the game. So, that is why not only the people hate the game because of the change of concept, Okay, towards the story and towards the gameplay itself, but also because the game is filled with bugs and problems and a lot of stuff is wrong. So all this thing made that the game didn't sold quite bad at the release gate because people were expecting to be a great game, just like any other Tomb Raider at the time. But the game was actually was actually pretty bad, so people uh, start to read reviews and see opinions from other from other persons all over the internet and uh, from the mouths of many other people and well they decided to not buy the game and uh, Tomb Raider was already marked as a very very bad game as a very very Tomb Raider so my opinion is that it's a bad Tomb Raider okay but I don't think that is essentially a bad game it has a great atmosphere and it shows us shows us a different uh, way of seeing Lara Croft and seeing the paths and seeing the story after uh, Tomb Raider 
before that we think that Lara Croft was dead, but in fact she's alive, but now she's a much more darker person and seems that has problems with Werner. You are going to see that thing just right away. Okay, that's the thing that I want to tell. So I'm going to play on the PC, okay, the, probably it's the worst version <laughs> available of the game because PS2 was a little bit more refined than the PC, I'm not really sure if that was fixed or not with the time, but the PC version was kind of having even more problems than the PS2. So I installed the mode, not for the graphics, because I want to keep the same graphics as the vanilla version to make the things a little bit more close to the consoles, so, so that people see that, okay, so this is the vanilla Tomb Raider, this is not a completely ass modified game so I could install a mode that's completely uh, make the graphics really good but that's not really the thing that I want to do I want to keep uh, the visuals as they are okay so I'm going to play at 1080p maximum settings as the game allows I'm not using uh, multi sampling and aliasing uh, which is to to get rid of the edges uh, because I'm playing with borderless and that multi sampling doesn't work so but I think it should be fine but I think people don't care about that so you are here to see your uh, gameplay and such what I'm going to do is a playthrough so I don't promise you to find all the stuff and uh, the last time I played this game it was in 2003 when the game was released so like I told you I installed the mode but it is to improve a little bit the gameplay I started to play the game with the gamepad but I immediately regret it I think it's more difficult than play with the keyboard right now I don't think the PC version is really uh, prepared or ready to play with with an Xbox 360 gamepad it's really weird to play uh, to play in there so that is why I decided to play with the keyboard so I'm going to start a new game okay and I hope you enjoy the cutscene I will get back after the cutscene okay so let's go